So this tutorial is going to take a look at using Smart Ink on and the internet. If you have a Windows machine and you have Internet Explorer, you're able to write some digital notes and have the ink stay on the web page when you scroll up and down. And I'm going to show that in a few seconds. If you're using another internet browser or using uh, a Mac machine, for instance, or you prefer Google Chrome or Firefox or anything like that, then the ink will not travel around when you scroll, but you can still write on things and convert to type text and capture into notebook. So I'm going to first start with Internet Explorer and just model that. I'm going to start by showing how you can write some, some words and convert them to type text. So let's say we're doing an inquiry on dinosaurs and we just want to do a quick search to start with. So I can write the word dinosaur in digital ink. Then when I touch the digital ink, I have an option to either delete here or if I hit those two A's, it's going to convert it to type text. Then it's going to ask me to touch where I would like to insert the text and then it'll fly into my search part and I can hit my search icon and it will search for dinosaurs now. I can hit this red X and my dinosaur digital ink will go away. Using my smart settings from my smart ink drop down menu at the top, on a Windows machine I can click settings. And when the settings pop up, I do have an option to check off at the very bottom to clear ink notes after they're inserted as text. So we're going to take a look at that now. So I'll click OK and we'll see what this looks like. So now I'll write something else I can search for. Maybe I'm doing something on polar bears. And I'll type on that type text, convert to digital ink drop it into the Google search and now you can see my digital ink has disappeared. So I really love that fact that I can clear that digital ink if I know I'm going to be doing a lot of inserting of type text. To have the ink scroll with you, to model that I'm just going to come to Google News here. So let's say you're doing a current events um, activity with your students then you could ask, say, one group to research this, which unfortunately is quite sad reading right now. And then what I can do is I can scroll down and I can choose something else for another group to work on. So maybe we want to take a look at polluters to face greater liability in drilling. That sounds like a really important um, topic for our children to research. So let's have another group research that. So now you can see that my highlighter or any digital ink that I bring in is going to travel with this text and stay with that text when I scroll up and down in Internet Explorer. If I come to another uh, internet search item or an, another internet possibility, right now I'm in Google Chrome and I can still do the same sorts of things I was just doing. So I can, let's say I am doing some current event, I could just do some type text or some digital ink here and convert to type text for news. And there I go, I have the option to search different news outlets and you can see my digital ink still disappeared because I'd set it in the settings. But if I come say to something like the weather channel and I want to do some scrolling, um, the digital ink will not travel with my scrolling. So I'm going to model that. I've circled three cities in Canada. Now if I begin to scroll, you can see that digital ink, it stays in its spot. So it's like that overhead overlay like we had before. So that's something that moving forward, I'm hoping that other browsers will get the, the right coding to us uh, for us to be able to do scrolling in different applications. But at the end of the day, I can still hit my capture button and this information would still then be captured right into notebook. So I still have the ability to be working with this digital ink and have it saved when I bring it into notebook, which is always good to have anyway. So that's how we can work with digital ink and the internet.